Welcome back, legends, to another Budfellas educational deep dive. Today we're covering a topic that fascinates almost everyone who studies cannabis plants. Why buds turn purple. Purple coloration is one of the most visually striking traits cannabis can display, and it's often surrounded by myths, half-truths, and oversimplified explanations. This episode is purely educational and focuses on plant science, genetics, and physiology, not cultivation advice. As always, this content follows UK law and YouTube guidelines. We're analysing why the plant behaves the way it does, not telling anyone how to make it happen. Before we jump in, remember, this channel is for viewers over 18 and our content is purely educational. We're not here to promote or encourage illegal activity. In the UK, cannabis cultivation remains illegal without a licence. What we are doing is learning plant science and helping beginners avoid common mistakes. Quick update. We've just launched the Budfellas Telegram community, connecting growers and enthusiasts from around the world. It's legal-focused, all about networking, plant science and shared experience. Links in the description. To understand why buds turn purple, we need to start with plant pigments. Cannabis contains several pigments, each responsible for different colours. Chlorophyll produces green tones and dominates during active growth. Carotenoids produce yellow and orange hues. Anthocyanins are responsible for red, blue and purple colours. When purple appears, it means anthocyanins are becoming more visible within the plant tissue. Anthocyanins are not exclusive to cannabis. They are found throughout the plant kingdom, in grapes, blueberries, red cabbage and autumn leaves. Their role is protective rather than decorative. These pigments help shield plant cells from environmental stress, ultraviolet radiation, oxidative damage and temperature fluctuations. In cannabis, anthocyanins are always present at some level, but they are often masked by chlorophyll. When chlorophyll production slows or breaks down, anthocyanins become visible. This shift does not happen randomly, it is regulated by genetics and environmental signals. Genetics play the primary role in whether a cannabis plant can turn purple at all. Some strains carry genes that allow high anthocyanin production, while others do not. If the genetic pathway is absent, purple coloration will not appear, regardless of environmental conditions. In genetically capable plants, colour expression can vary widely in intensity and location. Temperature is one of the most commonly discussed environmental influences. Cooler temperatures slow chlorophyll synthesis and accelerate chlorophyll degradation. When chlorophyll levels drop, underlying anthocyanins become more visible. This is why purple hues often appear later in the plant's life cycle, when nights naturally cool. However, cold alone does not create purple buds. It only reveals pigments that the plant is already capable of producing. Without the genetic foundation, temperature changes will not result in purple coloration. Another factor is light exposure. Anthocyanins absorb excess light energy and protect plant tissues from photo damage. Under certain light conditions, plants increase anthocyanin production as a defense mechanism. This response is particularly noticeable in reproductive tissues where protecting genetic material is crucial. Nutrient metabolism also influences color expression. Phosphorus plays a role in energy transfer within the plant. When energy pathways shift late in the life cycle, chlorophyll production slows, allowing other pigments to dominate visually. Importantly, purple coloration is not the same as nutrient deficiency. While deficiencies can cause color changes, true purple buds are a genetic and physiological expression, not a sign of poor health. pH affects pigment stability as well. Anthocyanins change color depending on cellular pH. In more acidic environments, they appear redder. In more neutral environments, they appear purple or blue. This chemical behavior contributes to subtle shade differences within the same plant. Hormonal changes during flowering also play a role. As cannabis transitions from growth to reproduction, hormonal priorities shift. The plant invests energy into protecting flowers and seeds. Pigments like anthocyanins support this process by acting as antioxidants and stress buffers. Another reason purple buds attract attention is because colour often appears alongside changes in aroma. 
terpene production increases during late flowering, and many purple strains are known for complex terpene profiles. While color and aroma are controlled by different pathways, they often intensify at the same time, creating a strong sensory impression. It's important to separate myth from science. Purple buds are not inherently stronger, weaker, better, or worse than green buds. Color alone does not indicate potency or quality. It indicates pigment expression. The chemical profile that determines aroma and effects is governed by cannabinoids and terpenes, not color. From an evolutionary standpoint, anthocyanins offer survival advantages. They protect tissues from cold damage, oxidative stress, and excessive light. In nature, these traits helped plants survive fluctuating environments. In cannabis, this evolutionary legacy remains visible. Color expression can also be uneven. Some buds may turn purple, while others remain green on the same plant. This reflects local differences in light exposure, temperature, and tissue age. Leaves, sugar leaves, and calyxes may all show color differently. As the plant approaches maturity, chlorophyll naturally breaks down. This process, known as senescence, allows stored nutrients to be reallocated. As green fades, secondary pigments become visible. Purple coloration at this stage is often part of the plant's natural life cycle, rather than stress. In summary, cannabis buds turn purple due to the expression of anthocyanin pigments influenced primarily by genetics, with environmental factors such as temperature, light, pH, and hormonal changes affecting visibility and intensity. Purple color is a natural, scientifically understood phenomenon not a flaw or a guarantee of quality. Understanding this helps separate visual appeal from biological meaning. Purple buds are simply one of the many ways cannabis expresses its genetic diversity. Thanks for tuning in, legends. If you're enjoying these calm, science-first explanations of cannabis behavior, more are on the way. This is Bud Fellas, signing out.